Hello, and thanks for watching this video on Velixa Reports. In this video, we're showing you how to install the reports into Excel and the powerful flexibility of how to use it. So we'll finish up installing. And the license, the way it works, is it's based on the tenant of the company. So as long as you have a license, you have unlimited users to that one company. So we're opening up Excel now. So the first thing we do is we insert the chart of accounts. So Acumatica and the Velixo reports are smart enough to go into Acumatica and query all the chart of account numbers. Now the next thing we want to do is use some of the formulas that are very powerful with Velixo reports. So for example, if we know the chart of account, we can use account name as a function to pull it. Now you can use the insert function, which is a standard Excel feature, to pull all of the different Velixo report formulas. So you could see account class and a number of other formulas. There's quite a few in here. We're gonna go through some of them. And then here you can see the help. So if you don't understand one of the functions that's in there, you click it, you're brought to Velixo's website, and you could see the context on how to use it. So here we're gonna fill in our connection, which is our instant connection, and the chart of account. So this 101,000 is the chart of account, and this will return in this formula the account description. Now you can see the formula here. So we'll pull all the account descriptions down. We'll add a little formatting here to make this like a report. And give it some headers. Now I'm gonna be filtering by the account ledger in Acumatica as well as the financial period. So let me add the ledger and the financial periods. Our formula for account ending balance. And we'll put our connection in here. We'll use the ledger formula. And then our account class is blank. We could use account class, but we won't. We'll use the cell for the account. We'll leave our sub accounts blank so we can include all sub accounts. Branch blank so we can use all branches. And now you can see that Elixir Reports is fetching the data, which it does very quickly. It has a method of caching, which makes this a real high performer. Now we'll bring everything down and you could again see how fast this is. Financial periods in this C column, it's going to make it easy for us to expand and add additional columns for comparison purposes. In this case, we're adding two additional months. But if we want, we can come back and do an actual versus budget. And there's our numbers. So you can get pretty creative with this. Month over month comparisons, variance columns, and all sorts of cool stuff. So here is a more advanced spreadsheet. This one you could see is nicely formatted. And it gives you an idea of the creativity you can use with Velixo reports. You can see I have some conditional formatting. I'm showing some trends. And I have the ability to drill down. So operating expenses, we click on it and it expands. These are Excel functions. And of course other cool Excel functions would be the charting features that you can now take advantage of. We have a drop down for branch here. 
Notice our financial period, we can change that if we need to. Now another cool feature is, if you look at this total operating expenses, it's doing a sum, but Velixo Reports allows you to drill down into it. So these are all the summary entries and then you can see the view transactions allows us to drill down even further right inside Acumatica. So we'll click on it and it'll redirect us right to Acumatica where we'll log in and you can see this familiar screen. And from here, of course, at Acumatica, I can drill into the reference number and write down to the original document, including any file attachments that are part of this document and whatnot. Now, as discussed, you can read any budget numbers you'd like. But one of the new features we have is a budget write back. So if we click on this button, we can open up a worksheet where we can key in our accounts. We can see our actuals for 2018, maybe throw in an adjustment. So based on these actuals, we'll throw an adjustment in here. Maybe 30% we'll get our budgetary number back and it'll distribute across all the periods. The other feature we have is general ledger write back. So again, we could open up a sheet here, transactional worksheet. And in here we can give it a description. We'll give it our branch, our ledger, currency and fill in our journal transaction lines. Now we can select import back into Acumatica. And Acumatica is gonna validate this. So if there's a problem, in this case, the chart of account is incorrect, it'll tell us. So we'll click OK. We'll fix our account numbers. And run it again. Now by default, Acumatica brings this transaction in on hold. But there's preferences for releasing on the fly, as you can see right here. The other feature we have is a distribution list that we can build to distribute our financial reports and send them out. So you can send them in different formats, pick a file name, select the tabs we want to include from this sheet. You may not want to include all of them to your distribution list or to specific people and the distribution list. We can put our email to address here, a subject heading. If there's any email body, we can include that as well. And we can even password protect it. Lastly, if you need the options, you can pass specific parameters. So when this report is generated and distributed, you can pull these parameters, pass them along, and use them for the distribution. Now, if you use project accounting, Velixo has those formulas as well. So here's an example of a project report showing the balance information.
You can see all the formulas here towards the bottom. So project balances, project quantities. And again, another very convenient feature is we have the ability to drill down and see project transactions. So these are transactions based on that income line we just saw. And then even drill back into Acumatica for further investigation. So thanks so much for watching this video on Velixa Reports. You can see the power and the flexibility. If you have any questions, we're happy to perform a more in-depth demonstration for you. Reach out to us with any questions that you have. Thanks again.